Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. Um, Jokic exited the game. You guys quickly won a quick 5-0 run to cut it to five. From your view, what happened from there that allowed them to hang on? Yeah, it, it, uh, you know, it felt like we had opportunities offensively to score. Um, and some strange things happen on, on some of these possessions or just misses uh, in the paint or uh, some timely miscues that led to turnovers. And then, uh, you know, they scored. It's not as if they're scoring 130 on us. Uh, it's just a, uh, the context of when they would score or a breakdown um, that just kind of kept things at bay. Every time we felt like we got it to six or eight, uh, you know, they were able to to push it to 12. And, um, you know, that was certainly a, a frustrating part of the game. Um, you know, and, and Brown was a big part of that. You know, some of his uh, random drives and, and plays uh, in the middle of the paint, um, you know, when you're expecting it to be, you know, Murray or or somebody else. Left side, first row. Will Guillory with the athletic uh, coach. Uh, three out of the four games in this series, your team has been under 100 points. Yeah. Of course, part of that is slower pace, but what have they done to really uh, disrupt you guys on offense? Well, tonight, I mean, it's been a little bit different each game. Uh, tonight, it was probably those, uh, you know, qu quick hands either stripping us, you know, when we had advantages uh, on drives, um, the kickballs. You know, Jokic does uh, very well, uh, deflected passes or uh, just some miscues. You know, it's not like we had 25 turnovers, but whatever the turnovers were, 16 or uh, 15 or 16, uh, they just led to scores um, that were deflating going the other way when it felt like we had an advantage. Um, so it, it, it's probably a combination of some of those uh, timely against us turnovers uh and then some makeable shots that we didn't make you know during those stretches when uh the game was in the balance when it felt like it was four six eight uh during those moments i'll have to go back and track that but that's where i felt like probably the the advantages were missed the most during those moments first row on the right side Cooper Moorhead, Heat.com. Neither Moore nor Jokic shot particularly efficiently, but did you feel like you got a real containment on their actions and, and what was being produced for the other guys off their actions? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to say because, you know, Jokic was in foul trouble, so they went to other things. Um, you know, their, Jokic shot, shot some threes, you know, that, uh, um, you know, changes the dynamic a, a, a little bit. Um, you know, for the most part, uh, I thought that that part of the game was okay. It's uh, the Gordon, uh, you know, dunks or cuts. Uh, Porter had a couple cuts. Um, and then Brown, you know, when when Jokic was out, you know, those drives and, and um, plays that were kind of just random plays, attacking plays, which he's fully capable of doing, uh, that – those were probably the most costly uh, things. We're going to go in the back to the left side to Nick. It's about Nick Friedel, ESPN. You praise the will of the group throughout this whole stretch. What is the biggest message you want to impart yeah, to them? Everybody's over? already talking about Sorry to cut you off. Everybody's already talking about it. Like, I've been in those games, game five. Those are not the easiest games, you know, at home. All we're focused on. I told the guys, feel whatever you want to feel tonight. That's fine. You, you probably shouldn't sleep anything tonight. You know, any any amount of time. I don't think anybody will. You know, we have an incredibly competitive group. We've done everything the hard way, and that's the way it's going to have to be done right now again. Uh, and all we're going to focus on is getting this thing back to the 305. Get this thing back to Miami. Uh, and things can shift very quickly. It's going to be a gnarly game in Denver. That's built for the competitors that we have in our locker room. And by the time we get on that plane, all we're thinking about is get this thing back to Miami. Um, First row in and, the middle. And we get an opportunity to, to play a, a super competitive game in uh, a great environment. That, that's going to be an, a, an awesome environment. Um, our guys, our guys are, are built for that. They love that. Uh, and particularly, I'm sure, 
everything in the next whatever. What do we have? Uh, three days in between. Uh, yeah, we understand what the narrative will be, but that's uh, that's the way it is with our, with our team. First row in the middle. Hey, Spo, uh, Melissa Rowan, Fox Sports. Um, considering how much you guys have already overcome this postseason, um, how much confidence does that give you, obviously, heading into a 3-1 series? It doesn't matter about confidence or not confidence or how we feel or what our mood is. Our guys love to compete. Our guys love to compete. We get another opportunity to compete uh, and take this thing one step at a time. Get this thing back to the 305. Uh, and we do that. All right, that's how quickly things can change. Um, obviously, you know we got we got some things to figure out, but we have uh, an extra day um, to do that. But the mindset, you don't have to question that. Um, you know, uh, that's what everybody's already thinking about. We'll we'll take two more questions. Tim Reynolds on the right. Tim Reynolds, AP. Eric, the the um, the energy that Kevin Love gave you to start the third quarter. I, I, I yeah. saw you gave him. A pretty vicious slap there when, when, when he came out. Is is those stretches, is, is it just that simple? That's going to be what's required? Yeah, it's going to be inspiring plays. You, you stack inspiring play after inspiring play. Right when I took him out, because that's when he was going to come out, it was about four and change. That's one of the most impressive multiple effort rebounds. It reminded me of, like, that's something that Dennis Rodman would do. Um, and then we're going to stack a bunch of more of those kind of plays uh, in game five. Um, you know, our, our guys love this kind of deal with the stakes, you know, and, and the context uh, uh, of everything. We're not even going to think about what's after that. All we're focused on is getting this thing back to Miami. Final question in the middle, Coach. Eric Rohan, Nodkini, Sports Illustrated. You mentioned Gordon earlier. I believe he was the leading scorer out of everyone tonight. Um, it seems like a lot of times he takes advantage of his size in the paint. Just in general, when a player like that has a size advantage and they're using it, where do you kind of begin to, to counteract that? How do you begin to counteract something like that? Yeah, I felt like the size was more of a factor in game one. I think there was miscues, lack of communication or rotations tonight. Now, he is fully capable of, of doing uh, what he's able to do. And, you know, he's big, he's athletic, he's a great finisher. Um, he has a r real good synergy, all, all that stuff. Uh, you know, so you have to respect that and then conquer it. Um, tonight, uh, you know, there are some more relief points that, uh, you know, I think we could have uh, handled better. That doesn't guarantee that we would have been able to get the stop. Um, but my instinct says before I got to the film that it felt like more of those kind of things. Okay. Thank you. All right. Coach. Thank you.